Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know brain. Hello everyone. So this is December again, December of 2019, December 19, and uh, we are heading to Goa today. So I have a flight to catch at 5:50 p.m. So the cab and uh, heading over there now. Check this out. This is the cab and all the luggage is inside. Now. So all set to all set to go. There you go. That's our destination. See guys, that's the flight. It's Air Asia. Ah, how the? Ah, nint kali. Take that. Check this out, guys. One voyage heading over now. Let's see. Going in. It's a long queue. This being the uh, year end, December. A lot of people heading towards Goa. Mm. Yeah. Unknown brain. So we landed now finally. Around 7:20 uh, p.m. we landed. The flight uh, started uh, a little late, around 6 o'clock. Instead of 5:50, it started around 6:10, I think. We were so. just roaming around for like 10 minutes. So we want to click a pick. This is a defense of airport, so you're not supposed to record any video. Right. Next so there you go. We're going to our hotel, and then we're going to be going to Kolba, Kolba Beach. Beach. Basically, it's yeah, Kolba it's Beach that we are going to. Kolba Beach. Some hotel near Kolba Beach. Welcome to the vlog and uh, we are here. So here we are at uh, this uh, hotel called uh, Amigo Plaza and uh, let me give you a room tour. So this is how the room looks like. Uh, it's pretty cozy. There is a sofa over there. This is the bed and there's a huge mirror over here as you can see and that's me and uh, this is the nice uh, bathroom. There's a nice mirror in here and it's all uh, neat and clean. So this is the TV over here, there are a couple of chairs and there is a nice uh, little uh, balcony over here. We are at the ground floor, we got the room at the ground floor. It's a nice thing because there is a nice uh, uh, lawn kind of thing and there is a nice sit out over here as you can see. And this is basically Kolwa guys, Kolwa beach, uh, near, very near to Kolwa beach at a walking distance and uh, this is how the hotel looks like from outside and that's the entrance from where we came that's the hotel so these are like villa kind of houses over here in the hotel this is how it's looking so here we are so we left Bangalore at 6:10. Uh, we landed here at 7:30, and here we are now at Goa 
compared to the last time when we visited, uh, we basically drove around here. It uh, took almost like 11 and a half, half hours for me to drive and come over here to this place, uh, the Goa. I was staying uh, near Wangunim Beach last time around. It took me like 11 and a half hours. As I said, I started uh, three. I uh, woke up at three, and last time around uh, started at around four o'clock in the morning. Uh, had reached Goa at around 2:30 after driving for so long, around almost around 11 hours. And now uh, that's the difference of uh, coming uh, in flight. So this is uh, a different kind of an experience for me to land in Goa for the first time uh, on a flight, not that uh, I've not gone in, uh, to other places in flight, but uh, to Goa, this is my first uh, flight journey. Feels good. If you ask uh, later, I'm here, landed here. Such a nice uh, party and hippie place. Uh, the Goa uh, vibes, totally I'm um, uh, uh, trying to soak in. Uh, switch on those lights, let me see if this turns on. Turn on uh, this. Does this light switch on? Yeah. This is the light, and that's how this lighting looks like. It's a nice little place. Uh, very cheap option. Just that uh, the quality is also really good, and uh, I'm quite happy with the place. I think I paid around thousand four hundred or thousand five hundred, or that's all, for this particular hotel. Uh, it's called the Amigo Plaza. That's what the name is. Uh, that is it's near uh, Paul Bar. So that's how it is, guys. Uh, for now. It's a nice uh, air conditioned room. All good. See you, uh, see you around when we go head out for uh, dinner now. There you see all the foreigners and uh, other tourists already walking around. So we also plan to walk around now. See the light is on now, so it's looking much better as you can see. So. We plan to walk around, uh, go to the beach, and near the beach, uh, there are many uh, restaurant options, is what I'm told by the um, hotel person. So I plan to leave now. So I'll catch you on the roads. See you guys. Hey guys, so this is how the main entrance looks like. There is, this is called uh, the Amigo Plaza. As you can see, this is how the property looks like. Check this out. Nice. So. Take a look at the vibes of this place. Beautifully lit uh, restaurants, a lot of options, eating options in this particular area. So the Kolwa Beach is uh, at a walking distance from here. And uh, uh, so there are many restaurant options, I'm told, if I head towards this way. So the other way, if I head, then uh, the beach is very nearby, but there is only one shack over there available. So that's the only food option, but uh, if I head this, this way, then uh, there are many options for me to choose from. So that's the reason I'm uh, heading towards this way. So I have booked uh, different hotels each day. So check this out. Uh, you might have seen a bright light in front of me. That was a uh, Jeep that went across. Because of which uh, my video was lit up nicely <laughs> for a few seconds, as I said. So check out the vibes of this place. It's amazing. I really love the holiday kind of vibes that Goa has and uh, that's the best part about this city. I think no other city matches up to Goa's vibes uh, when it comes to uh, tourism and travel. Especially if you are able to drive around in scooter, that's the best. So in two days basically you just pay 300 rupees per day and uh, you basically get to for all of the two days but uh, since I've come with family so uh, I'm planning to rent a car I'm renting a Swift Desire and it's going to cost me around 1800 uh, per uh, day 1800 per day so that's around uh, almost like 2000 uh, almost like 4000 per uh, for my two days of stay and on the third day I'll be dropping the car back at the airport so that's how I have planned to go around in this uh, particular city, otherwise the uh, cost of the uh, um, uh, what is that? Two, uh, the cabs are really high. So I end up paying a lot more than that. So to come to this particular place itself, uh, one way I was charged like 636 rupees. Uh, so there is a new app called uh, Goa Miles. So 
released by the government of Goa, Goa Miles, uh, which is a similar uh, app-based taxi services, similar to uh, Uber and Ola. So I booked using that, uh, used the app at the Goa Miles counter, and uh, they offered me a free Wi-Fi, and I uh, used that and booked it over there. There you can see there are many shops over here, colorful clothes and all that. Already my daughter started to put tax on me by trying to buy some flip-flops. There is a colorful flip-flops available. She wants to buy one, it seems. Check this out guys, Kolwa Beach Resort. So first time I'm visiting this particular area, the Kolwa Beach area. Check this out, there is a Urupi Wedge restaurant. It's called uh, Sagar Kinara. Below that, they have written non veg restaurant and bar. That's funny, quite funny. And check this out God Goodman Bar and Restaurant, rooftop restaurant. So, I'm checking out if uh, I can look at Zomato or something. Will Zomato work over here in order to find out the ratings of the restaurants or something? I'm not sure. I need to check that whether it works or not. But really nice place. A lot of shopping available here. Street shopping. Time is around uh, 9.35 and still all these shops are open. In Bangalore by 9 o'clock almost all the shops are shut. And here you still see that uh, all of the shops are open and people are so relaxed. Check this out. Nice looking environment. So basically this is South Goa and you find this kind of a calm and serene atmosphere and no my family wants. thinks no, they should be in uh, some very busy area like uh, Baga or uh, the yes, Kalangot area. Yes, I want area. to go to Baga tomorrow. Yeah, we'll go. We have to go. This is some abandoned uh, hotel it's looks so like. Hot. Everything is closed here. Yeah, Silver Sands, I don't know what, why it is closed. The building looks quite old. And it's closed. There is also a CCD over there, but it's closed. So take a look at this. So there are some hotels, restaurants here. Hello. Sea coil. Let's see where the where is the beach? Beach is on the other side, I think, right? Right. So check this out, guys. So we are here at the Kolba Beach, and this is how this particular location looks like. Take a look. And that's the entrance to the Kolwa beach. There you see Goa. Goa police. Some station over there and uh, colorful restaurants all around. That's the entrance to the beach. Check this out. This is the entrance. And that's the beach over there. It's uh, late in the night. We are out here for having some light dinner because we ate a lot in the lounge uh, so not feeling like eating a lot planning to have some fish curry or something somewhere and then fish curry rice and then go back to sleep that's the plan for today so you see these guys are having some masala soda over here there you go guys this is the beach <laughs> so this is the beach guys at night, this is how it looks. So This is basically the beach. Like beach is there and you can go to the beach. So it's totally dark here. And this is how it looks. So we'll go into some restaurant, beach restaurant. There is some beach restaurant over there. We can go there. Oh, now, Barado return to Sunday morning. 7.45 flight is there. 7.45 early morning. Huh? Ah, out of one hour a stage journey. So, I talk to Amel Martin. Bye. So guys, I was talking to my brother and uh, my dad. So this is the Kolwa beach guys, uh, check this out. At night, also there are floodlights over here installed. It's looking really nice. And uh, there you see, that's the beach. I don't think you'll be able to see much since it is night time. 
but it's looking really nice. Check this out. Candlelight dinner. Candlelight dinner. Family. So this is how it looks. Sitting right in front of the beach and uh, having the dinner. That's the beauty of Goan holidays. So this is a shack and uh, basically a sit out like this, right in front of the beach. And uh, unlike uh, Baga or Kalangut, uh, this is not so crowded and uh, very peaceful and calm over here. Check this out. This is how it looks. Nice little music also playing over there. On the track. Check this out. I find it hard to commit, but you don't even try. Still, I'm better with and without you.